Good morning, everybody. It is a fabulous new year. January 2020. Woohoo! That means you have opportunities that are lying ahead of you. Some you might be aware of, some that are not, you don't even have a clue, but they're coming your way. And so I wanted to start out this year in the right foot, and that's setting goals. But you got to set them right. You got to set them properly. Otherwise, you won't achieve them. How many goals have you set every year and next year you set the same goal and the year after that you set the same goal and it's not because it's you love this goal and you want to keep doing it it's because you are not achieving it let's achieve that goal so i've got a couple of things i want you to do today and the first one is that well they're all easy but the first one is just so wonderful because you, you put your mind in a different place that you can be excited about the new year coming. And I've talked about this before and I'm just gonna talk about it again because it's always a good reminder. And that's what I call the best year ever exercise. Woo! Best year ever. Don't you want 2020 to be the best year? The year of clear vision, the year of rewards and blessings and abundance and fantastic, you know, dreams coming true. That's what I'm looking for. And this is one of the ways to do that. One of the challenges a lot of people struggle with is setting a goal. Like what is it that they really want? What is it they want to achieve? What is it they want to accomplish? And it starts out kind of in this realm of, okay, well, I want to be healthier. I want to be you know, this and that. Well, the problem is, is they set it because yes, they do want to be healthier, but they don't really know why. They don't, they don't understand what it is they're trying to achieve. And this exercise, the best year ever, is a really simple exercise. All you're going to do is you're going to get you a piece of paper. Several, if you are a big dreamer, and if you want to keep it simple and small, then you just one. But you're going to get you a piece of paper. Just a regular old standard line piece of paper. Now, on this line paper, at the very top of it, you are going to write. And this is just, you don't need to put it big and bold or anything, but just simple. So here's my lines on my paper. You're going to write... 2020 was the best year ever because. And you're going to just allow your brain to fill that in. Whatever it may be. Don't limit yourself. If you say it was the best year ever because you went on vacation, then great, put that down. If you say you did something or you got a raise or whatever it may be, do not limit yourself. Write it out and just allow your brain to flood and to dump on this. I learned this exercise from Dean Graziosi, and so I'm going to give him credit of this. But I also have kind of tweaked it a bit with some of the things that I do. So after you've written this paper... So step one, write your best year. You know, this is the best year. 2020 was the best year ever. And you're pretending like it already happened. And it's actually year 2021. And 2020 has ended. It's New Year's Day. And you are saying, wow, 2020 was the best year ever because... And just allow yourself to flow through and to do it. Then step two is you want to reread it. Reread what you wrote. And I'm going to say it was the best year because we did a vacation and my kids loved it. Well, whatever, you know, it may be. It was the best year because I connected with my wife. You know, whatever, whatever it may be. You decide what made it the best year ever. Then you're going to go back and you're going to reread it. And you're going to look and identify the things that show that it's the best year ever. So, first one, vacation. 
I want you to highlight it. Get a highlighter and actually highlight that. That th this vacation, whatever the vacation was, made it the best year ever. The next one, connected with my wife. Highlight it. And you're going to go through and you're going to do that and find out all of the things that you did or that happened that made it the best year ever. And you're going to highlight it. Well, now, after you've reread it, step three, like I said, is now highlight it. Highlight the, the goals. Whoops. I do know how to spell. <laughs> highlight goals. Now, step four is to pull those goals out. You keep, you're keeping this paper. You're going to read this again and again and again several times throughout the year. But you are going to pull those goals out onto a separate piece of paper and write those down so that now here's our goals because <laughs> we said that's what's going to be the best year ever that's what's going to make the best year ever is these things happening well those things just became your goal awesome i know i know i love it too so now you have your goals to work on now you take, and step five is to analyze those goals. Analyze, okay, this vacation. If I want this vacation, what must I do? What is it going to take? What are the challenges that are going to be facing me? What is the obstacles and the, what needs to happen? What training do I need? You know, we, we start analyzing it to discover any of the challenges or obstacles that may come so that we're already ready for them. And then you do that with the next goal, the connecting with my wife. Okay, what does it mean to connect with my wife? What does it mean to be able to say that this was the best year ever because I kept connected with my wife? Well, what did you do? Did you go on a cruise together? Did you just spend more time together? Did you actually tell her you love her and stuff like that? What is it that you need to do to be able to connect better with your spouse. Now, as you do this, you are then going to be able to break these goals down into micro goals because here's the big goal. The big goal here, big goal, is to connect. Well, but how do you do that? Then we break it down into micro goals. We break it down into smaller, more manageable goals. And those smaller, more manageable goals is say, you know, for example, again, just using this as an example, is say, I love you on a daily basis. Or if you're not used to saying I love you, you know, putting it out to a weekly or a monthly, whatever. But this will start to achieve the bigger goal. So whatever your bigger goal is, now you've broken it into these tiny pieces that you can start checking those off. Well, as you start completing these tiny pieces, you have and you will achieve the bigger goal. I hope you enjoyed this exercise because it is a phenomenal exercise. If you do it, you'll start to identify what's going to make this year spectacular, phenomenal, amazing. And that's what you want to do for 2020 starting out right now. Don't put this off. Don't wait. I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it Sunday or I'll do it Monday. You know, do it today. We're already a little bit into January. We're, what are we, January 7th, I believe. But look at this. You can start off right now. And you may have already even set some goals. Well, the other good thing about this exercise is the goals that you may have already set they may not fit within the best year ever and you realize, oh, I don't want these goals anymore. So you start getting and setting the goals that you want to achieve. You are amazing. Please do this exercise today. Don't wait, don't hold it off. And let me know below. Let me know some of your goals, some of your dreams so that you can start committing to yourself today. You're amazing, believe it, have a fantastic day.